Our, uh, our press conference started with the goal scorer this evening, Tori Hansen. If you have a question for Tori, hit the raise hand button. Uh, Tori, just to get things started, you may be open with your overall thoughts on the game today. Uh, tough result for sure. Um, it felt great to get my first goal, but um, giving up four goals is not great, and that's not the expectation. Um, but obviously, we came into this game wanting three points, and we didn't achieve that. So we're definitely going to learn from this and move on. I'm going to go to Austin. Austin, I'll leave your line open for any questions you have. Cool. Thanks, Jackie. Um, Tori, just uh, walk me through your goal. Um, what did you see and uh, what did that moment feel like for you? Um, so Thais played a great ball in and honestly, I thought I was going to head it in. And then I think I headed it and there was a big jumble and then the ball was at my feet and I just tapped it with my back heel and it went in. So I was very happy about that. Do you expect to have your first professional goal be a back heel like that? Um, definitely not. Uh, I'm more of a, a header scorer. So um, it's nice to get one with my feet and a uh, back heel is even better. So you mentioned the the kind of shift in the game and, and allowing four goals that you guys set the tone first 15 minutes. You're in the driver's seat. What changed from your perspective in that first half? I think we just started having to defend more and um, kudos to the spirit. They had some really, really great finishes. Um, but yeah, we just, we can't let off the break and we have to keep going once we do score that goal because we're in the driver's seat when we're up 1-0 and we let them back into the game. Um, and we've got to learn from that. Every goal from from Washington coming from, from outside the box, what defensively needs to happen in order to prevent those? Um, I think we've got to be a little bit higher. We got to make sure we have pressure on the ball so they're not getting open shots like that. But um, like I said, they were great hits and tough, tough saves. So do you take any solace in the fact that all those goals were outside the box rather than easy ones that were inside the 18? I mean, definitely. We don't want all goals being the same because clearly we're doing something wrong if that's the case. So um, we definitely need to learn from it. We'll we'll go back and train and fix those problems and uh, be better for Sunday. How do you feel the the shift from the end of the first half to the beginning of the second half was for the team and, and what was kind of said in the locker room? Um, yeah, we came out on fire. Obviously being down 3-1 at halftime is not something you want to go into halftime doing, but um, we believed in each other and we came out. Uh, Summer Yates, great player and played an amazing ball to Alley with a great finish and it kind of shifted the momentum towards us. And then those last few minutes, we just shifted back. Now, just in, in terms of the overall game, the different lineup from, from past games, you, you're getting more opportunities now. Um, what is what is kind of your professional journey been like thus far, uh, just from your perspective? Um, I mean, I've just been grateful to get any minutes that I've been able to get. Um, I played against Courage, so that was, uh, we tied 1-1 against them. Probably should have finished out with the win on that one, but... Um, no, yeah, I'm just happy to get any minutes that I can get and make a difference when I can and score goals and um, try to improve on getting shutouts, obviously, um, is a big piece to defending. So um, I'll learn from that and we'll learn from that as a back line and uh, as a team. Speaking of the back line, you have many young players that are kind of in your similar situation uh, with Emily uh, as a rookie, Caitlin kind of a pseudo rookie, I guess. How has it been just playing with them and kind of learning with them as you've gone along this season? Oh yeah, we are a very, very young team, but um, I think we're smart players and we've all played in big time colleges um, and we're, we're all learning. We have veterans on the team that we can learn from and people that are helping us and encouraging us. And I think we believe in each other. So that helps us believe in ourselves and, um, yeah, I think they've been doing great. I think every player that I've talked to in terms of the adjustment from college to professional have said that's the pace of the game that has been the biggest adjustment. Do you feel that way? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's a transition game in this league and um, the forwards in this league are extremely fast. So especially as defenders, you've got to be locked on for 90 plus minutes and just ready to step, drop and just be ready for anything because that pace of the ball and the speed of the forwards is is a lot faster than in college.